now we see about finding for any one of the function derivative by using first principle so you know what is the first principle first principle f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h so generally you know the derivatives of functions now we are finding the derivative of functions by using this first principle okay how to find out you see there so for example the first point first formula what we take in f of x is equal to x raised to n f of x is equal to x raised to n its derivative we want to find out by using our first principle so now f dash of x is equal to by first principle limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h means in place of x what we take in x plus h whole power n x equal to x plus h substitute x plus h whole power n minus what is f of x is x raised to n upon h so limits formula you know whatever the limit formula limit x tends to a Okay, standard formula x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a is equal to n into a power n minus 1. Limit standard formula we have already you know. Okay, now by using this standard formula, now we are finding this limit. Now see here, this is you take as a x, x plus h you take as a x and this x you take as a n then it will be the form of x power n minus a power n upon x minus a where is the x minus a okay now see here, here limit h tends to 0 x can be taken as x plus h so whole power n minus x power n upon this h can be taken as x minus a we want x means x plus h minus a means x okay now you observe it is in the form of x power n minus a power n upon x minus a x means x plus h and here in place of x what is there a a in place may x a uh, now we are applying formula what is the formula is n into power n into a raised to a means what here x power n minus 1 so this is the derivative of the function x raised to n x power n now see here the derivative of f of x means f of x is equal to how much x raised to n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 so in this way for any function if you want we are finding our derivative okay for example you see there here second f of x is equal to e raised to x e power x now what we want to find out its derivative e power x derivative so for that same first principle we are applying f dash of x is equal to what do you have limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h means f of x plus h means e power x plus by what we are substituting e power x x plus may x plus h we are substituting e raised to x plus h minus what is f of x e raised to x upon what is there h okay now we are getting common what is the common in that limit h tends to 0 e raised to x getting common what is the remaining e raised to h minus 1 upon h e power x getting common sir. here what is there e power h e power x getting common what is there 1 upon h now applying the limit h tends to 0 for this then e raised to x limit h tends to 0 e raised to h minus 1 upon h okay which is equal to e power x okay what about this you know by limits formula e power x minus 1 upon x it gives the what 1 
therefore what do we have the derivative of f of x f dash of x is equal to e raised to x now we are getting another formula the derivative of e power x is equal to e power x the derivative of e power x is equal to e power x in this way we are getting what any function derivative we want to find out now by using this first principle we are fine okay chalo now what we are taking the standard formulas standard formulas we are taking by using first principles all we are finding by using this method only so we see about standard formulas so you do each and every formula in which we are getting by using first principle only okay na so the first one is just know you got it derivative of x raised to n that is n into x power n minus 1 the power n be the any one of the real number the power n is any one of the real number now second one is derivative of derivative of x x power 1 we are taking n is equal to 1 you take then what it becomes 1 into x power 1 minus 1 when well, it's x power 0 is become the what 1 simple okay just this is the standard form the first one is it is a standard form okay now we are applying n values now directly always we are substituting in this and finding is not possible okay so you have to remember some formulas like this what about that derivative of x derivative of x square what is that n is equal to 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 2x similarly derivative of x cube derivative of x cube which is equal to how much you are getting 3 into x power 3 minus 1 okay so similarly we have derivative of derivative of 1 upon x derivative of 1 upon x we put algebraic functions derivative we are finding okay so 1 upon x So you said that sir, what do you have? X power n is not there. So you have to change in this form. Derivative of x raised to minus one, one upon x can be taken as. Now x power n already I said here n be the any real number we are taking. Okay. So here if n is equal to what minus one into x power n plus me minus one minus one, which is equal to minus one upon x square. x raised to minus 2 we take in the denominator this is the x form for a derivative of 1 upon x so you observe here the power will be increasing x square become the 2x x cube become the 3x square similarly x power 4 will become the 4x cube okay x power 5 5x power 4 so like the derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 by x square similarly we see about what derivative of 1 by x square 1 upon x square so it can be taken as derivative of x raised to minus 2 then it can be taken as n into x power n minus 1 or minus 2 here it is minus 2 x raised to minus 3 you take in the denominator okay so what is the derivative of 1 upon x square the power 2 is become the minus 2 upon 1 power will be increasing x cube so in this way we are continuing our 1 upon x 1 upon x square suppose 1 upon x cube derivative how much we are getting minus 3 upon x raised to 
ओके इन दिस वे वी कंटिन्यू द व्हाट यू हैव वन अपॉन एक्स वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर वन अपॉन एक्स क्यूब नेक्स्ट वी कंस कम्स टू व्हाट अनदर वन इज डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रूट ओवर एक्स इट विल बिकम सो मेनी टाइम्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रूट ओवर एक्स ओके सो हियर इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड दिस इज into x raised to 1 upon 2 x power 1 by 2 that is n into same standard formula sir only one standard formula we are getting so many formulas okay so x raised to 1 upon 2 can be taken as n into x power n minus 1 or it can be taken as 1 by 2 into x raised to 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 by 2 or it can be taken as 1 by 2 into this x raised to minus 1 by 2 we take in the denominator x power 1 by 2 that is root x so now our words the derivative of root over x can be taken as 1 upon 2 root x okay it is standard form as a standard form we are taking and we applied in any root over any other function in that okay that is so this is about algebraic functions and also just now we find out derivative of e raised to x which is equal to same e power x exponential functions derivative of a raised to x exponential function that is a raised to x into log e a power x derivative similarly means a raised to x into log e this is applicable for this also if you want to see that e power x into log e whatever log e is 1 so always we are not taking it is okay so next derivative of log x log x is 1 upon x now all these derivatives we are getting by what first principle only okay so each and every formula we are getting by first principle okay that's why we are taking what directly as a standard formulas derivative of log x which is 1 upon x and also you have to observe here log having base is e okay suppose the log having base is some e then what you have to do okay na this is the log having base e then its derivative is 1 upon x so now we see about what it can be taken as derivative of derivative of by log property log x upon log e log x upon log e and also you see there here now we are taking any one of the base so i am taking the base is e koi bhi base you have to take so e we are taking the base uh, now you apply derivative and you see there here it is a constant sir. log e so constant you take one side what is the remaining derivative of log x 1 upon x and what is the remaining log e so what is the derivative of log x to the base e that is 1 upon x log x become the 1 upon x and base e will be there it is upon log e so base e will be there upon log e but what is there value one it is okay so similarly in this way we have so derivative of algebraic functions we see about constant simple constants so any number like derivative of 2 derivative of 3 what it becomes the constant derivative is zero always the derivative of constant is zero now and also another standard formula is derivative of mod x in already in example we taken mod x it represents v shape okay so what is the derivative of mod x so mod x ka derivative is mod x upon x okay and already you know denominator may x so x is not equal to 0 that's why this mod x function is not differentiable at x is equal to 0 already in the definition of derivative we are taking one example for mod x okay so derivative of mod x is mod x upon x next this is all about algebraic functions standard formulas for algebraic functions
ओके नेक्स्ट Next we comes to what trigonometric functions like derivative of sin x which is cos x derivative of cos x which is minus sin x derivative of tan x which is second square x derivative of derivative of cot x minus cos x square x derivative of sec x sec x into tan x a derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant into cot there are standard formulas for trigonometric functions okay algebra and now it is a trigonometric functions now we see about the properties the properties of the derivative that is if suppose we want to find out the derivative of constant of any one of the function constant of any one of the function constant multiple any one of the function we want to find out the derivative there any constant multiple will be there you take one side k and you have to find out the derivative of the function okay na this is the first property in the derivative next similarly we have the derivative of sum of any one of the two functions derivative now we are finding separately first we are finding the derivative of f of x and then we are finding the derivative of g of x f of x derivative first we are finding then we comes to what g of x okay it is properties how to differentiate one or more functions will be given by constant the addition or by taking a subtraction also derivative of f minus z of f of x now can be taken as derivative of f of x minus derivative of g of x okay similarly we have derivative of okay product of the functions that is f g of x now here we are applying what this is the first function f and g is the second function okay so first function f of x you put same as it is now we are differentiating the second function g of x now the first function derivative f of x derivative now we are multiplied by second function same as it is g of x so this is the product of the functions 
okay f into g in which way we are differentiating first function f is same as it is second function ka derivative okay plus first function ka derivative and second function same as it is now in this method we are finding the addition of the derivative subtraction of the derivatives and the product of the derivative and division of the derivative okay division of the derivative of a function now that is we are taking here derivative of suppose one function is u another function is v in this way we are taking okay na u upon v now its derivative can be taken as and you said that sir in which way we are getting this by using what first principle only by using all first principles only we are getting these formulas okay so here the denominator function is v same as it is it can be taken as v square now v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v upon v square so this is the derivative of what do you have division of a function if any two functions are in the form of ratio what we have rational or in the form of division now we have to differentiate like this what you have to do first you take the denominator as a v square okay and start from v now you have to differentiate the numerator derivative of u minus u into derivative of v now we see about examples problems on these okay in the next classes derivatives next part continue in next videos subscribe this channel